All right, so I wanted to record sort of a mini lesson to recap the circle squares pattern activity that you could have completed using, you know, either this in docs. And in docs, you could have like copied and pasted these into these slots. There was also a more interactive um, slides version, or you could just print it out on paper. For I uh, um, talk about it, like actually using the piece of paper, I want to just kind of talk in general. So let's suppose there were only two slots and there were only two symbols, circles and squares. Then for two slots, what are all the possibilities? What well, could be that it's circle, circle. It could be that it's square, square. It could be that it's circle, square. And it could be that it's square, circle. So for two slots, there are four possibilities. What about if and this is not on your sheet, the old version of this actually used to use um, circle squares and triangles, if I remember right. So still two slots, but three symbols. Circle, square, triangle. Well, it could be circle, circle, and it could be square, square, and it could be triangle, triangle. So that's all three of the ones that are the same two shapes. And it could be circle, square, or square, circle, So that's two more possibilities. Or it could be that it's one circle and one triangle. So circle, triangle, triangle, circle. And I think that's all the possibilities that actually have circles in it. So I think the only thing that's now left is patterns that only have squares and triangles left in them. And we've already done like two of the same. So really, I think all that's left is just square, triangle, triangle, square. And now I think that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we get real fancy and allow a third shape and still only two slots, there are nine possible patterns. So I kind of want to talk about how many possibilities are there here? And they're saying that it's eight. And so I want to talk about that. So we're going to go back down to only allowing two symbols but now there are three slots. And so there are two that are, you know, kind of straightforward that everyone probably thought of pretty fast. You know, all circles, all squares. But then, there are some patterns that are going to be two circles and one square. And so there are all the patterns that are one uh, square 
put two circles and then you just kind of think about moving the square so to speak from left to right right to left and again you might have gone in some other kind of order the sheet tries to get you thinking about like doing it in an order that lets you like describe the rules for how to develop your your list and those are going to vary from person to person that's partially why you should have just talked to a partner in fact you really probably shouldn't be watching this video unless you've already done the part from the beginning of today's lesson about talking with a partner so there's one pattern that's all circles there's three that's two circles we've already found this one down here that's no circles so i think we need one where there's we need to look at um patterns where there's a single circle and two squares in which case we kind of get something that's like this but maybe you do it in the mirror image where it's a circle and then the two squares or maybe the circles in the middle i was trying to guess where this would end up going down to and i was kind of wrong maybe it's that the circle is at the end and that's one two three four five six seven eight possible patterns well this class is a math elective and so one of the things i have to do is try to sprinkle in some math to make it justifiably that math elective and so what i really want you realizing here is that you could have predicted that these were the answers that there were four possible patterns here nine possible patterns here eight possible patterns here because if there are two choices here and two choices here you multiply those together there are four total options whereas on this one there were three choices here three choices here you multiply those together nine possible options here there were two options for each slot you multiply those together there are eight possible options um, so you could have thought to yourself uh, that maybe the way you organize mentally and there might be a couple of you that thought of it this way, but I wouldn't say all of you did by any means. Is that maybe you made some kind of like tree diagram? And some of you are maybe not made tree diagrams since elementary school, so you didn't even necessarily uh, think of it that way. So that's kind of a, a recap of how to maybe think about this and approach this that might make thinking through it a little bit easier and reviewed or reminded you of some useful math that helps you uh, decide well how many options are there anyway